Hello, Rob McNeely here again, and welcome to day 13 of our free program, Connecting with Solutions in Hypnosis. Yesterday, we explored how we can help someone to make a connection between what's missing in their problem and what is present in their lives, simply by saying, this is like that. And uh, sometimes, as I mentioned, for us to make that connection overtly like that is enough for a client to see it, feel it, know it, and then they're up and running. And sometimes it's not. Sometimes it doesn't click, doesn't make sense. Some people are not willing to, to or not, don't know how to make such a logically weird connection. So if it doesn't make sense, if someone can't connect that way, then we can invite the client to explore themselves. In what, what way is the experience of doing what you like useful or similar to the area that's been a problem to you? Now, I mentioned um, in a, a case of that man who liked riding a horse and had a problem uh, flying in a plane. And from when that connection was made, he could get it, he had it, he was right, he was fine, no problem. But just as a um, theoretical uh, example, if that didn't make sense to him, we could have offered the question to him, what is it about riding horses that you could find useful in being able to fly more comfortably, more the way you want to be able to fly. And leaving him with that question would, would have given him an opportunity to look within his own experience to see, oh, it's, uh, the, uh, the, I don't know, I'm sitting on the horse, I can sit in the plane, I can enjoy the horse, maybe I can enjoy the plane. Um, I, I really can't predict what that would be because I've noticed that when I ask a client how they can make the connection, some of the connections that they made seem very weird to me. But that really is inconsequential. It's when it makes sense to the client. That's what we're after. So here's the exercise for today. We have someone in hypnosis in the experience of what they like to do. We've invited focus. We've invited absorption. We've commented on the physiological changes. We know what's missing, we know what we're looking for, so we get into the likes and ask them specifically to look for the resource that has been missing in their problem and expect to find it in the experience of their likes. Once they've found it, we can invite them to sit with it, to get acquainted with it, to learn it, to become more familiar with it. And then see what happens if you ask your client what is it about the experience of doing what you like to do, being in this experience, that is going to be useful for you, relevant for you, helpful for you, in dealing with that situation that was a problem to you? The short version is just to ask the client, how is this like that? And leave them with that question. And be curious and be willing to be surprised at the connections that people make. Okay, so that's the exercise. See what happens when you do that. Uh, please leave a comment below so we can all uh, share in the uh, learning or send me an email privately. Thanks. See you tomorrow.